to the point of the surgical needle. Different tissues have different properties, so needle choice is extremely important in order to achieve optimal surgical outcomes. It is important to choose a needle point that enables sufficient penetration with the least amount of tissue trauma. The six Ethicon needle points that we are going to cover today include conventional cutting, reverse cutting, taper point, taper cut, blunt point, and spatulated. Let's take a closer look. Conventional cutting needles have two opposing cutting edges with a third on the inside curve. Though they have triangular cutting tips, these needles have flattened bodies for enhanced stability and ease of penetration. There is one subtype of conventional cutting needles, precision cosmetic conventional cutting prime needles. These needles have conventional cutting tips and prime geometry, which is an exclusive needle design that improves penetration and control with less tissue trauma. These needles are typically indicated for delicate, plastic, or cosmetic surgery. Reverse cutting needles have the cutting edge on the outer curve, whereas conventional cutting needles have a cutting edge on the inside curve, as I previously mentioned. These needles are intended for tough, difficult to penetrate tissues. Two reverse cutting needle subtypes include reverse cutting micropoint surgical needles and precision point reverse cutting prime needles. Reverse cutting micropoint surgical needles have reverse cutting tips, but the micropoint needle design allows for incredibly smooth tissue passage. These needles are extremely sharp and are a great option for ophthalmic surgery. Precision point reverse cutting prime needles have reverse cutting tips and prime geometry for increased sharpness and control. Taper point needles have rounded tips that effectively split and separate tissue and flattened bodies to allow for enhanced stability. These needles are generally indicated for soft, easy to penetrate tissue, including but not limited to peritoneum, abdominal viscera, subcutaneous tissue, blood vessels, and bowel. Taper point needles are sharp, but not quite as sharp as conventional cutting or reverse cutting needles. One taper point subtype includes Visi Black surgical needles. These are slim taper point needles with a black finished for improved visibility. Taper cut needles are two in one. They have a cutting tip to allow for enhanced sharpness and a taper body to allow for better stability. These needles are intended for tough, difficult to penetrate tissues. Ethicard blunt point needles have blunt points and taper bodies. Typically, blunt point needles are utilized for blunt dissection and for suturing friable tissue such as the liver. type that we'll go over today is spatulated. These needles have thin, flat profiles with enhanced visibility of the points. This provides control of depth penetration. Subtypes include micropoint, saber lock, and ultima spatula needles. Micropoint spatula needles have the same thin, flat profiles like conventional spatula needles but as you can see, they are reverse. These needles are designed specifically for ophthalmic anterior segment surgery. 
Saber lock spatula needles have side cutting spatula shaped edges which provide great control. These needles are typically intended for layers of scleral or corneal tissues. Ultima ophthalmic spatula needles have reduced edge angles which allow for better tissue penetration. These needles readily facilitate knot rotation in ophthalmic surgery. That concludes today's video on needle types. We hope that this video helps you with needle selection in the future, which is a critical component of surgical outcomes. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.